I'm Bailey Fixon, welcome to the sixth part of our X4 Foundations series. Now, we actually got into a bit more positive a relation with the Patriarch. We're currently at, I believe, nine. Why can I never find something if I'm actually looking for it? Huh? Because I'm a dum dum. It's right over here, of course. There you go, negative nine. Mm -hmm. Now, what this does is it actually will allow our ships to dock up with stations. And that is perfect because we kind of do need that. I took the liberty to bring over one of our distribution ships. It's currently waiting over there. And we need to do two things. We're going to be setting up a trade route distributing refined metals as you can see it right over here it's uh they buy in at 126 and they sell 207 in the same system we are going to be making a profit of about well, let's call it just 70 and that is so damn good i don't know why over here the prices are lower but that will eventually change right now we need to start placing satellites this ship however is i don't think ideal for that and i wouldn't mind getting ourselves like another scouting ship what is the current speed of this kestrel if i let's get out of the sea let's on pause let's get let's get up so we can actually check kestrel right click upgrade repair uh, traveling engines Hello. is over 4,000 right over there. And as for the splits, it's actually worse, so we're not doing that. Although the base speed is up, and that is ideal for when you are in an asteroid field, we're not changing that. So this ship eventually is going to be the ship dropping down satellites. However, since we are here anyways, we might as well just do it ourselves. Sorry, mate. <laughs> So let's go. Uh, I did place down one. And I'm not going to show you, you know, placing down satellites constantly. Uh, however, I do want to place down a few so we can get this started. Now, this is uh, quite a dangerous territory. Uh, the Xenon are active. Uh, there's been a few incursions. There's so far, they've been doing okay. But you can see there's damage to this uh, defensive station. And yeah, that would be problematic. Engaged. The secondary scouting ship uh, that we could actually make, yeah, I want to make it from the split. Uh, Jaguar on a low preset. You know, the speed is not bad, and this is actually quite good. However, you can see that there is a problem again with the split. They just do not have the hull parts necessary to get this done. That's why I want to be sending a few ships into this territory. Helping the split, so to say. And building up a relation for... And I, I, I know I said an ASP a few times. But the Chimera actually has five weapon slots. A whole bunch of engines. The only downside is... One shield module. The ASP, however, one shield module, only two engines, and three weapons. For the medium, I love the dragon. It has six weapons, two turret slots, one shield, one engine. It is an absolute fun ship to fly, and I will definitely be doing so, because I think I could just say this is the f my favorite ship in the game. Uh, let's go to where we are, uh, heading over to the refined goods section. Let us quickly start setting up the distribution with the ship in open market. Uh, we know how that goes. Let's go with repeat orders, confirm that, say, I want you to go in here, mate. Turn it down. Uh, refined metals 
and we were talking about a price of 124 let's pause for a second because i don't want to be yeah look at this xenon k they are really starting to push so yeah we could actually quite soon lose this ship that we're planning to use but you know what we don't mind buy again refine metals and we'll set it up to a maximum of 130 and the buying of the selling price no that's too low 140 one, i think we'll set it to a minimum of 160 so it will always be busy so to sell in here uh, refined metals come on where are you bro Uh, 160. So that could get started. We drop down a few satellites. And then I want to move on to the next bit. I want to set up the uh, water factory for our sunrise factory over there. And we'll most likely just do it in the memory of profit. Also, I know people are debating whether or not this is a good idea. Uh, I want to talk to you a tiny bit more, not too long. Because while I, I got a comment about this, I actually got the right phrasing wrong. Compare this station as your level 3 pilot. He will direct all of those ships that are definitely not level 3 pilots. That way less. And still act like they are level 3 pilots or even higher. So, see it as your advanced auto mining instead of your basic auto mining. The station will provide them locations as well as so called missions going from solid harvest, which is currently building up, into our distribution. And I've put it down to profit, so you know what it is 760,000 credits per hour. Our ships do not have to wait. Mining takes a long time. Distribution doesn't. That's what I wanted to say. So let us go to our ship. Let's uh, drop down quickly. Drop down a satellite over here. And let's unpause the game. We'll drop down a satellite with the next station, which is actually quite nearby. I love that. Engaged. I kind of don't like flying the autopilot in this system because there is a whole bunch of asteroids i actually strip mined this system once with one of those bases i showed you like the distribution absolutely you will see that number go down and there is a lot of that and there was all zeros oh yeah man my ships were i think i had like a hundred large ships going around and distributing all over the galaxy because that is what we can actually do so we drop down the satellite right over here go into fast pass mode you can just stop mate satellite do we do quickly another one let's take a look uh refined metals bought over there and that is hull parts yes that is actually quite smart to do anywhere that i've missed your over there definitely look at that refined goods not doing anything they're probably other refined goods we drop down over here let's say the guidance over there other pilot over there um i'll quickly do that and then we are heading over to the taladi guy over there buying the water blueprint yeah blueprint wow and then yeah okay this is why i don't like autopiloting over here we'll just fly ourselves goes a lot faster we also need to be on the lookout for secure containers and we need to have that for the mission that will give you del buster you will need to have spacesuit bombs as well as the uh, the emps to get the radio signal i had a playthrough where i was not lucky so yeah 
definitely want to have one of those. And stealing blueprints? That could really be profitable because you do not have that initial spending cost. And that could be, you know, instead of buying a blueprint, you might as well just build a station without actually having to save for it. So I'll, uh, I'll meet you up with the faction representative. Hello. Hi. Uh, show me your licenses for a second. Can I get these? No, I can not. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Blueprint modules production. Uh, these are all the same. So the water production, we can just buy right Goodbye. over here. Let's get to our Best ship. Trail. We Thank have hard. a few satellites still in our cargo hold, and there has been more fighting over here. So far they have been doing good. Let me make this a bit smaller. Where do we need to send this ship to actually... Yeah, right over here. So I want you to go satellite. You will also start exploring a bit more. Drop down one over here. And I also want you to fly and wait, fly and wait, and do that so we actually see what's going on. I'm still missing a station, I think, or what I know there should be a station to re-equip your other ship. So, yeah, uh, is my other ship currently in the vicinity already, or is he already taken out? No, he's currently right over here. How are you doing? You're filling up. That's good. Executing trade. He should be very easily sell it right over there. And if you can keep that up, then we are going to make a lot of money. So with that all done, let's look into the sun. Always a smart idea. Let's get going with a tiny, tiny station. So... I use a Entering Excel sheet system. to All see how much I need. And for this particular setup that we have, we only need 960 water. So yeah, let's get that going. Sorry, I actually clicked to take a look at my list. It's not up to date with the last DLC, so I will not be distributing it anytime soon until I actually get it up to date. It's a List Me and Kynan and Frost actually set up together. Um, I found it a long time ago, I decided it was worth my time, and yeah. So, price over there, buy that license, and continue. Let us turn off the environment because this planet is really in your face. Doesn't really matter where we uh, make the initial thing. So we need to get a cross connection probably somewhere over there. We need... Yeah, I love the design of the water factory over there. Great time for an auto save as well. Entering system. Family. Newt. That looks somewhat even. Yeah, uh, we need two container modules. Could I do that a bit more logically? Let's go with the three. Put it over here. Where do they large ship dock? Right over there. That's actually not bad. And I want a normal container. And I want a solid container. Because we do need to transport ice. And the water is actually a normal good. You can place one down here, which uh, I want to have built first is that. And the normal container, because we will also need energy. I want to be right at the bottom of this. Right over there. Yeah, sure, why not? Doesn't need much. Let's uh, confirm this. How expensive is this going to be? About 780. I'm going to be 
just manually assigning them to get this construction ship going. And it seems the energy cells are already on its way from the, um, the free families. Family. Interesting. Yeah. As well as the... Wow, that's going smart. Hopefully the uh, hull parts will go as fast as that. Uh, that would be really cool. I'm hoping it will be done this episode. I highly doubt it. Which is somewhat annoying, actually. We could maybe use our funds to buy another ship. Because we actually do need one more to start going for the hull parts. 838. Uh, let's go back to the... Uh, where is that damn station again here? The Alliance of the Word. Go back. Exit that. Open it again. Buy ship, medium, transporter, can't do the distribution mark once so get just get a cheap ship with traveling engines from the Taladi. And it, it's, it's just a weapon, so yeah, do we really care? What's the difference with the Taladi shields actually? So the recharge delay with the parcel is less. Not that much less. Combat computer, of combat engines, yeah, traveling, weapons, pulse, sure, why not? Uh, we'll just leave. They don't really need a targeting computer extension. Don't need police engine or the uh, police scanner. Just let it be like this. Uh, get some flares. Captain, three service crew members. Uh, we'll not rename this, but uh, well, it's, at least now we know. No, this is going to go for the new station. We Once it's done, we'll send it to buy hull parts. Where is that cheap? And I'm hoping he's not going to point me towards like the uh, the split. That would be somewhat problematic. Well, last time we bought them like over here somewhere, I believe. There you go. That can go. Alright, where is the cheapest? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Oh, that's amazing. That's not going to happen. Uh, I'm not going to fly so far. Did I not sell it somewhere in here? Nope. Okay, we need at 834. Think. Wrong one. Uh, 834 indeed. This ship, 13 seconds, we can actually start using it. Uh, we'll send him over here. He will go pick that up, deliver it over there. Then we'll send it to change its name and its lo uh, loadout. Hopefully... We can actually get that done. Uh, a bit more. Uh, 834. That is not 834. 834. Confirm. Then transfer. There. And that should actually be it. Let's go back to our Kestrel because I kind of don't want him. Uh, because, yeah, I think he's already going to be a very clever fella. No, oh, he's still actually in traveling mode. Interesting. I actually was under the assumption... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. You need to go, mate. Get out. Get out. The faster we can get... A... A good standing with the split... The faster we can get ourselves a good weapon. But that doesn't mean we could not get that... Asp. I'm actually really debating getting that first ship because getting to plus 10 requires us to get plus 19 points in that relation and that might just take a while. Uh, so Auto let's get an Asp. Lock the trade. Do they have the required goods? Low preset. They are lacking 123 hull parts. 
Oof. Autopilot. It's also not that fast. That's very better. And it seems like we can actually do it. Um, I'm just going to add that to shopping list real quick. Not enough money. I uh, didn't think that was going to happen, huh? Because of this. Well, it's fine. We'll just um, we'll just go and fly around, dropping satellites here and there. That is actually a mission. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, scanning a ship from the skill plan, uh, skill plate pack. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's not many skill plate pack in the vicinity because we would have to go through uh, the wretched skies into and I think it either connects right over here or there's another system. I think there's another system over there, and that would actually get us to our player headquarters. That's actually that is actually interesting. Let's get this gone. Zoom in on this so we can get the refined metals back. We'll drop down those. We don't really need to because they do have a trading computer. So if he flies next to a station, he will still get it. Yeah, I think we should maybe just do a tiny, tiny bit of exploration then. Let's fly over there. I oh, that's an automat. I, I'm always automatically doing the autopilot. I do want to see how far the Xenon have pushed the split. That means that we kind of do need to find the gate over here. Look at them. Look, look at them go. Are there containers in here? Turning software, security description, basic. AGI processors. Yeah, if we don't help them, that station will fall. If that station falls... Uh, say goodbye to this entire region. If this system falls in your split game, it's done. They will not recover. Because there's no ice in this system, if memory serves me. Yeah, there isn't. There's another system over here that actually has ice, but does have no resources. And this has such a tiny amount of resources. Wait, did they really increase that? Well, they did actually push that up. Yeah, that... They did push that up then. Cool. So they can actually survive if this system falls. They couldn't do that in the past. So that was quite annoying. Let's go back and uh, fly in third person a bit. Hopefully we can get that as planned. Once we know what the funds are that we'll get. Um, if, if we can get the 280. I might just buy that uh, as. Feel, I, I would feel a lot more secure. Uh, in a ship with three weapons. No way. No, 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 no. Nope. That, that's bad. This is really, really, really M. bad. Alright, boost. I don't like boosting, but we need to get the heck out of here. Requesting immediate backup. Yeah, yeah, forget it. No way. <laughs> Entering system. Nope. Balance okay. Zone. That asp needs to happen. It needs to happen. There is a, uh, a shipyard over here. We need more weapons. No bloody way I'm going to get myself shot. Because I'm I'm cheap. Unknown station. And this might not be a station where I can buy a ship though. Yeah, split equipment dock. Let's set course. Over there. Autopilot. And I am going to take a tiny bit of funds from... You don't need money. Go away. Uh, you don't need money either. We are getting paid. You are buying currently. So we cannot get rid of uh, the money right now. He's buying in still. We are getting 280. Okay, this one is done. He's now on its way. That's good. Yeah, then that would all be filled. Uh, once the energy cells arrive, I'm going to take all of that money away. 
How long does it take? The energy cells will arrive in six minutes. That is a tiny, tiny fraction of the money. Uh, by that time, I do hope we level up uh, this manager. Do a free star. It probably won't. This guy is already at a two. We need a free star for this. Now, we have a manager. I think that was... No, that was a pilot done. Yeah, he's close, but not there yet. We don't accidentally... No, he should be at the top of the list. If we had a four-star then we, he should have been at the top of the list. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, well. Can't change anything about that. We have a new balance, 100 and... 30, 1,334. There we go. Let's get that asp. Let's buy it. Small asp. Start with a low preset. I want... That's too expensive. It is fast though. I, I kind of do want it to be fast. It doesn't have to be that fast though. Four would be enough for me. We'll upgrade it where, when we are ready. A pulse laser mark one, three of them, sure. Docking computer, long range. Get some flares, get some satellites. Well, this is way too many. Let's get ten. Five. Five. Don't really need a service crew on this. I do need a pilot. Uh, this is not a million yet, so let's set that up so it's actually getting built. And when we reach our destination, we will actually have an ASP. The shields definitely aren't good. I would rather have Talada shields on us. But you know, right now, we can't really be... Uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? And we can actually have our cash troll start... Dropping satellites everywhere. He's a scout ship, so he's relatively cheap. So losing the Kestrel doesn't it doesn't really you know it doesn't really matter all that much. We spent a lot of money this episode already. But it will be worth it. Uh the water the water where could we distribute the water? That's also something we need to look into. Because our station in is, is, we're not going to be getting enough from this. Uh, we'll overproduce. Because how much do we make? Uh, station modules, production module, water. We are going to be producing, yeah, almost 6,000 water. Entering system, open market. Now, we could turn this station the ore distribution into a bit of a trade hop it is actually possible to do that we would have to add normal storage and adding a few trade ships adding water saying that you can only trade with uh, intermediate products or basic products and then sell to everyone else that would actually not be a bad idea to have a centralized place. So this could be a general trade Entering station. I like that idea a lot. I do also need to rename. Did I actually set up a trade order? Tier 0, yes. Tier 1. Yeah, that's how we can do that. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. But, like I said, we do need to get this station a standard uh, storage don't really have the money for that i think let's take a look we have to kind of think i want another cross connection over here and then we'll drop we'll definitely add another standard docking bay eventually also need a one dock we need a normal container. 
It's very, I accept this. How expensive would that be? 213. Yeah, that actually would work for now. Let's accept that and let's get another builder. Uh, we, we're doing a lot. This is going to be our trade ship. He's going to be very Auto important. Okay, we are at the dock. Let us quickly dock up. The ASP should be ready. Docking granted. Can we see it already? Yeah, there it is. There is the ASP. Cool. Let's go. We'll sell the other satellites because we kind of don't need it over here. So no nav, Welcome. no resources, and give you uh, 20 satellites. Basic computer. Yeah, well, no, this is nitpicking. Wait, we didn't have a police scanner? Interesting. Pulse, shields. Okay, what's the difference of the shields? Yeah, look at that. The recharge delay, that's actually way better. I think still the, I think it's the Terrans, right? That have the best shields. Let me know in the comment section. We didn't have combat engines on this thing either. It's kind of stupid. Anything else I want to change? I'm here right now, anyways. Um, add the shopping list, confirm that order. Let's get up, get to a new ship. Oh, we're so low on cash. I want to walk there. I want to just simply go. I love these ships. I would really, really like to get the ships from the split. They are fast. They don't have a large hull. That is one thing. Yeah, but they don't have a large hull. But what they lack in hull... Or actually in cargo, I should say cargo. They definitely make up for it. This works way better. They will make up for it in speed. Here you go, Ask. mate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah. That's on dark. New ship, guys. Uh, now, one thing though, and it's pause game because my ship, I think, might just be on its way now. What orders do you have? Yeah, look at these. Deploy a position. He's currently undocking. I need to... All of these need to be going. And let's take a quick look. We need to start building our satellite network. Right over here. Uh, let's close this down. Cool. So he will be busy. Let's unpause the game. Let's check out the ASP. Ooh, that is so damn bright. Yeah. Ah, it feels way better already. There you go. A Kestrel is on its way. Let's take a quick look at the ship. Oh yeah. Really cool. Let's get a few pictures done for the screenshot. There we go. Okay, that means that we can now go back and actually explore again. Let's move out right over here and I want to connect our systems towards heretics and and I would like to get into this system over here that has a lot of Xenon present. Maybe we should start over there to take a look at how active everything is currently. The first things first, let's set up our destination, get into first person. Let's see how fast this thing is. Yeah, I like three web. Three is better than one. And once we build up that relationship, once we get that uh, Chimera, we need to play around with some of the weapons. They have some cool weapons, like the, uh, the, the shotgun type, but that bounce off could be dangerous. I also think we need to have a bit of a missile thing going as well. Although the dragon is more suited for that, I believe, to deal with Ks. Once we hit zero relationship, though, we need to get that police life thing up. Like I said, I want to reach the, uh, if possible, the player headquarters. Entering there is wretched a gate. Skies five, family five. Which way are we pointing? 
downwards. That's good. Because then the other gate uh, is somewhere over there. Yeah, there it is. And that will lead you to the another cluster of Xenon stations. Uh, systems, not stations, systems. How can we utilize our play headquarters? Let me think about that. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, it's four. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. We. Why don't we just explore or get towards the Boron systems next time? Uh, we did start the first part of the Alliance of the World uh, campaign. And, yeah, we kind of abandoned it. We don't have much money, so we might as well just take a sidetrack uh, and just take a look at what the Boron have to offer us next time. It sounds like a plan. Entering system. Heretics end. Wow. There we go. Autopilot engaged. How wonderful. You are here to deal with that sensor distorting ship? Not really. Your much anticipated arrival fills me with considerable relief and delight. But we do have a lot of missions that we could start doing, guys. Uh, I kind of also want to start focusing on getting Del Buster. While we build up our empire. As for now, uh, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that sort of things. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.